Aloha everyone and welcome back to the Kaimana Conservation Channel. For those of you guys that haven't been here before, my name is Jessica and I am a professional marine biologist that lives in Maui, Hawaii. It's a little windy. Um, that's actually part to do with what we're going to talk about today. Um, we are going on a dive, so if you guys have stuck around the channel for a while, you know that I do some dive videos. And so as you guys may have noticed, it's a little darker than normal and uh, it's windy, which is pretty normal later in the day. Most of the time when I do a dive video, I am starting this video doing this little introduction sec section anywhere between 6 in the morning to like 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, but usually not later than that. Um, this is Maui the Valley Isle, which means that it does get windier during the day. Um, and right now I am filming at about 5 o'clock in the evening. And that is because today we're going to be doing what's called a night dive. We're going to be going back to McKenna Landing today. Um, but the cool thing about doing a night dive at the same site is because you get to see animals that come out in the evening that wouldn't normally be seen out and about during the day. You'll get uh, what's called the diurnal migration of uh, planktonic animals. So you'll get animals like squid and jellyfish that'll like come up from the deep and uh, they'll hang out on the shallower uh, reefs and you get a chance to see them but you won't normally get to see those during the day. So fingers crossed we'll get to see some of those uh, more unusual animals uh, coming up in the shallower reefs. For those of you that have seen some of the previous videos that I have done on this channel, you may have seen the McKenna Landing video already. If you haven't, I would definitely recommend checking that out. I will link it somewhere above <laughs> um, and either watch that before or after this video so you can kind of get a comparison of what it looks like during the day versus what it looks like at night and the different animals that come out during those times. We're going to head down to McKenna Landing, get kitted up, and I will see you guys at McKenna Landing at night. some waves crashing behind me here. Uh, the sunset is beautiful. Hopefully some of those shots come out. Um, we're not going to be hopping in to go diving for another mm, maybe half an hour or so just to let the sun really go down so the flashlights can do their work. Um, but I'm going to hop in the water really quickly and do a quick snorkel and that is because uh, off in the distance, they're down right now, hopefully we can find them, but I uh, just saw some wingtips in the water. Uh, wingtips meaning uh, eagle rays, so their fins or their, their wings, the little tips of their wings come up above the surface and this is uh, mating season for our eagle rays. So hopefully uh, if I hop in the water and stay out there and be patient, hopefully we can find some eagle rays for you guys. And then I'll come back in, get kitted up in the proper gear and then we'll go back out for our dive. seven of them so there's the female out in the front and then there were six males that were the smaller ones that were following behind her very typical mating behavior so that was really cool to see before the dive even started so that was awesome as you guys can see the Sun has officially set and we're gonna go ahead and hop in the water see you guys there
morning everyone as you guys can see it is light out um, I decided not to finish up the video last night uh, because by the time we got back to the dock and back here it was too dark so uh, we're switching over to the next day but I did want to finish up the video by talking a little bit about what we saw on this dive like I mentioned in the introduction night dives are very unique times to go diving because the animals that uh, are not normally out during the day or not normally on the reef uh, get a chance to come out and you get a chance to see them last night was no exception we had an absolutely fantastic dive we saw lots and lots of different types of animals that you don't normally get a chance to see during the day uh, we even managed to uh, luck out and see some eagle rays before the dive even started uh, that was obviously not on the agenda to go in for a snorkel before a dive uh, but it was so worth it seven different eagle rays that was so cool so one of the first things you may have noticed after we descended down onto the reef is that the reef looked very different from during the day during the day you usually see lots of life lots of fish especially swimming over the corals uh, but at night it's very different most of those uh, reef fish tend to hide and tuck away into the reef they're hiding from from predators and sleeping most of those fish are not nocturnal um, so you don't see them some things that you do see are some of the larger predators as well as the invertebrates that come out at night uh, you guys may have also noticed that even though the reef itself looked quite barren um, it, the water may have looked a little bit like murky or dusty um, some of that is organic material but a lot of what those were actually alive um, they're called zooplankton or like tiny microscopic pelagic or open ocean organisms that are Fly, uh, floating around in the water column and those are the animals that do that diurnal migration which means that uh, at night they will come up from the greater depths or from deeper waters and they'll come onto the reef and they're all swimming around and they're feeding you guys may have noticed with the flashlight um, there was like all these little like looks like little specks swimming around the flashlight that was the zooplankton and at one point even a fish swam over to the the light and was using the light to hunt the plankton which was really cool it's always hit or miss with night dives sometimes Sometimes you see a lot sometimes you don't see that much um, but you got to know what to look for and how to look for it and most importantly you want to make sure you're looking into the nooks and crannies of the reef because a lot of the invertebrates come out at night uh, the gosh there's so many things that we saw it's really hard to put it all into one little overview but just a couple of things that really stood out we saw a couple of uh, crustaceans so we saw a spiny lobster which is a lobster that is native to Hawaii spiny lobsters don't have like the claws like the Atlantic lobsters do instead they just have a really spiny exoskeleton so we saw a couple of those they're actually quite sizable I don't know if you could tell in the video but they're about the size of a football and they can grow to about the size of a scuba tank out here another crustacean that we saw was the 7-eleven crab which uh, sounds like a silly common name now that I say it out loud um, but the 7-eleven crab gets its name because it has 11 spots darker red spots on a orange background and uh, seven of those spots are larger and then the remaining four are smaller so that's where it gets its common name um, unfortunately Unfortunately, my GoPro died right in the middle of filming this guy. He was actually feeding on the reef, which was really cool. Um, but I did manage to get a nice close-up view of him for you guys before it decided to kick the bucket. A couple other things that we saw that I thought was really cool was an octopus. We saw a couple of octopus on the reef. They are also more active at night. They are still shy though, so uh, the octopus that we saw was uh, hiding for a majority of the time, uh, but Brian did manage to get a really cool clip of it doing like umbrella hunting, which is basically where it spreads out its body and uh, blocks off a hole where an animal inside might be hiding, and then it'll stick its tentacle down in that hole and see if it can't catch a reward. Speaking of things eating, uh, one of the things that I thought was really cool it's always very exciting when you see a squid so we saw two squid on this dive which was really cool in and of itself but the first squid that we saw I didn't even realize it until I got back home and I was editing the footage which makes me feel kind of silly that I wasn't being very observant on the dive um, but the first squid actually had a fish inside of its tentacles it was like wrapped around a fish so I had the GoPro out on a stick and it actually approached the GoPro it like got right up on there which was really neat in and of itself and I was so busy trying to keep the GoPro still to get this really good footage that it wasn't until I went back and edited it that I realized that there is this decent sized little fish in the clutches of the squid. Well, I could go on and on all day about all the cool things that you can and will see on night dives, uh, but we'll go ahead and leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed going on your first virtual night dive. Let me know if you found it interesting and would want to see that again in the future at maybe a different dive site, and uh, I'll see you guys around next time. Mahalo.